what's happening in the world, what now. Today's October 4th. My name is Reagan, and these are your past week's headlines. When it came time to actually benefit the people, the best new thing since the New Deal and sliced bread was on the table, here's what we would have got. Universal pre kindergarten free community college, free 12 weeks of family leave. They want to extend the temporary child care credit with additional taxpayer subsidies for the rest of time. This is really considered a foot in the door for a minimum annual income that the government would pay people. Think about where we're going with all this. They want to expand Medicare to include dental, vision, and hearing, and lower the age from 65 to 60. What else does this bill do? It funds the Green New Deal, uh, retrofitting buildings, subsidizing solar, wind, environmental justice and environmental equity, whatever the hell that means, uh, electric government vehicles. They want to subsidize low-income housing. Gee, that's never been tried before. They want to create sustainable housing, public transportation. But no, our Congress was completely seized up because they're captured by corporate interests. Look at Joe Manchin, for instance. Look at, look, look at how much oil money, look how much money they get in their pockets from lobbying. How about we put these two who held up the bill, which would have benefited everybody, have them work paycheck to paycheck, have them survive on minimum wage as the average, it's completely broken. And right before we're about to enter COP26, so we're gonna go to the conference of parties and tell everybody, hey, we tried to pass a bill for the people and to make our infrastructure green, but we just couldn't come to agreement about it. But we should definitely try to save the planet. So what's our word worth at this point? Jack shit. <laughs> Moving on. More than 700,000 people died of COVID in America. Too bad climate change is going to kill like 8 billion in 10 years. Greta was like blah, 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 and the crowd went wild. Watch my video, watch this with the whole family. I just published on YouTube. Talk about denial on the utmost level. Patients are actually dying of COVID in the hospital as the doctors are informing them. And they say to the doctor, I don't have COVID. Aww. Um, so yeah, now we know how we'll deal with the climate crisis is it's not real. I actually had a girl I was talking to tell me that she believes in the climate crisis as if whether you believe in it or not changes the validity of the crisis actually occurring. Yeah, too many isms. It's the same reason that Congress got blocked up and we couldn't benefit the people because there's too many isms. We're too divided. There's a cultural war in America, a cultural civil war. G drive around the country. Talk to people as I have. There's so many different viewpoints. No one's on the same page hardly about anything. No wonder we can't come to agreement about helping people. Moving on, oil prices went through the roof in the UK because they had a gas shortage because of a lack of drivers. There was an Amtrak de derailment that killed several people last Sunday. I didn't cover it, but I guess that was going to happen. It's going to happen a lot more as the climate emergency continues. Pieces of our infrastructure will degrade and we'll be seeing these much more often. I'm not sure if I want to take a train all the time. More air rage though in the skies. The F FAA receiving nearly 4,500 reports. 61% of the reports are related to racial and homophobic slurs. We'll never grow up. Google turned 23 on Monday. The world was changed forever. Let's go ahead and look myself up. Let's see what 23-year-old Google has to say about me. Ah, see, I'm somebody. I'm on the internet forever. Except until it all goes down. We missed the Balloon Festival in Albuquerque, which was canceled last year due to the pandemic, which we're still in. Ray Dalio, the ex-hedge fund manager of Bridgewater Associates or what have you, said in an interview regarding climate change, I fear for man. Yes, Ray, you're correct, and I'm sorry your son killed himself. I'm sure he had a pleasant life with all that money. Too bad he doesn't get to enjoy any of it because he's dead. Boris Johnson literally said that the young have every right to be angry about their environment. Okay, then make the change or GTFO.
Alaskan healthcare system is being stressed AF. Delta is hammering them. 67% of employees are ready to quit, saying leaders made empty pandemic promises for well-being. Ah, yes, a fresh dose of reality on late-stage rampant unfettered capitalism. You are exploited to the point of nothing. You are just a digit, a cog, and a giant machine. Your life does not have value. Work harder. No, I mean work harder. Turkey is trying and successfully buying more missiles from Russia. NASA says at least five fireballs were reported over the US. It was visible from the North Carolina coast. And I just wanna look like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Honestly, maybe I got my Halloween costume idea. I'm looking for Brian. Surprise, yet another spoiled rich boy that turned into a irrefutably disgusting adult was Pr Prince Andrew who molested a girl younger than 18 was filed a lawsuit. I still got you. I still got you, right? I still got you. Today's kids born in 2020 will live through two to seven times as many climate disasters in, as their grandparents. Published in the journal Science, the findings quantify the intergenerational inequality of climate change. Published in the journal Science, the findings quantify the intergenerational inequality of climate change. Heat waves, though, will be the most prevalent extreme climate event with 36 times as many occurring for a six-year-old. The FBI reported the murder rate climbed 30% in 2020 despite COVID-19 lockdowns. So if you've been feeling a little cray or homicidal in 2020, you aren't alone. Statewide eviction moratoriums expired in California, and Aladdin play returned to Broadway, then closed right after when a breakthrough case occurred. New vehicle sales plunged 25% last month. And another fun note, in a million children in America, about half had detectable levels of lead in their blood. North Korea fired a hypersonic missile on Tuesday, the third in a month. Amazon unveiled a new $1,000 George Jetson looking dumb robot that follows you around. School boards have been filled with hostility and threats because of masks and the topic of race being taught in schools. Pharmaceutical company Merck has invented a new pill that can prevent COVID-19 death up to 50 percent. 116 people died in a prison riot in Ecuador. There was a women's march on Saturday around the country protesting the abortion law in Texas. And last but not least, on to weather. Brazil's crops have been scorched, frozen, and dried out by the worst drought in a century, upending global commodity markets. And that's really all I got. The leaves are falling and we are transitioning into fall. That is happening. All right, guys. This has been your October 4th update. My name is Reagan. This is what's happening in the world. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my patrons. I'm a little sloppy today. My notes were all jumbled, but we got through this, right? Right? Okay. Thanks again. Click like. You know what to do. Share with your friends. Consider yourself informed. See you next week. Peace.